Well, we did it. We traded our 22 in for a base camp. So we're in LA today to do the service walkthrough and pick it up. Here's a propane outlet for a low volume, low pressure barbecue if you want. Okay. They do. Okay, you've got stone guards here. And notice the door does latch. The tires, you've got the lift on this. Okay, here's an outlet. Gives you a nice view out the back if you want, and there's a screen that comes down mm -hmm. at night storage. There's your uh, spare tire. This is just a vent. That's the Truma vent, right? Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, pro probably your hot water. Oh, yeah, it actually says Truma on it. Yeah. And uh, so, anyway, the normal uh, 30 amp, here. right? There's your fresh water fill, uh -huh. and there's your city water fill. This is a single tank, so you're going to, uh, everything's going to mix together. Right. We, and there's a storage for your for your sewer okay. hose. Is this like a little flashlight for, it's a lot, yeah. for when you're working down here? Yeah. Oh, nice. That is I handy. hope you never Thank have you. to do that at night. <laughs> a little storage in here it doesn't have much capacity. Fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting thing. It's, it's Okay, there's a couple of USBs. Okay, but you can stick them through here and have them come out here mm -hmm. so that they are out of sight. This is a it should be that's just yeah, the porch, light here. Yeah. This is front light. I'm gonna leave it on. There's that light, and this is the bathroom light. Okay. Okay, so these three are your inside hooks for your keys. A little bit of storage here. 22 gallon fresh. Okay. 29 uh, 29 gallon. Oh okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Microwave, that's only gonna be usable when you're on on full hookup. Yes. Um, the fridge. I have it on auto, so it automatically goes between electric and propane, depending on what it senses. Right. I think this is actually going to be better than ours because we're closer to the propane here. Yeah, on the, on the 2022, a little faster. The 22, we're way over here. Yeah, it takes a couple minutes. And I was going to say, sometimes when you, if you've had everything closed down, it won't light right away. Right. Yeah. I've replaced this with another unit like it that actually gives me a voltage readout. Okay. It does the same, but it also tells me exactly. How many volts? Because that guy, you don't want to run him when the voltage gets down below 105. Okay. When you're down in the low 100s, you're risking burning out the compressor. Oh, okay. Yeah. So even though you've got voltage, even though this will be amber, mm -hmm. there may not be enough to keep this guy happy. Okay. <clears throat> so that's kind of worthwhile. The other thing is, I finally had to break down and buy a, a surge protector that goes on the post in the campground. Okay. That prevents... I've seen those. We don't have one yet. Yeah, they're expensive. Uh -huh. Our t t t $250, $300 uh -huh. for a decent one. Mine cuts off at 102 and and 132 on okay. the other end. So if you have a spike because of lightning, mm -hmm. it'll cut. And if it drops too low, it'll cut. Is it just a breaker reset? Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, your sink, um, this slides up. Uh -huh. This thing goes... I've got the pump off, but this goes out. Hot water is up. Cold water down and push it in to okay. turn it off. Electrical. Mm -hmm. And you've got another one over there. Uh, hooks for storing pots. I guess you could put pots on that. Mm -hmm. Probably a, a trivets or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And storage up here. Uh, okay, vent. It's a hand crank, and I do have the, the uh, fan on. There's your uh, propane detector. Now that's that's a battery drain that never goes off. Right. Right. No matter what you do, it doesn't go okay. off. But you've got solar panels and you've got AGM batteries, so it's not to worry. Okay. You have storage here, and that AGM battery is down in there someplace. Okay. The question I had is, um, if I want to charge the batteries, does the battery switch have to be on? Yes. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, it doesn't. Okay. It'll charge anyway. Okay. Right. So your cutoff switch. That just means don't want to use battery. Right. Okay. Exactly. But it will it will still charge. Okay. Okay. You have one of these on your 22. Yes. Typical fuses. Uh, one of these is a is a propane. Uh, I'm sorry. Is a smoke detector. This is like carbon, a carbon monoxide. monoxide detector. Okay. So and again, I would I would. Change those batteries once a year. Once a year, no matter what. You have a vent with a fan, just like you did probably on your 22 storage. Uh, this pulls across to give you a little uh, clothes line. Clothes line. Uh, you have a nice protective cover for your toilet paper. 
because this is an all-in-one bath. Mm -hmm. Did you have an all-in-one bath? No, mm -hmm. you had separate. So everything you're going to do is here. <laughs> yeah. So uh, in the pass through your regular water um, controls. Toilet, the, your foot pedal. Foot pedal. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, you have tie downs there. I don't know if you're going to put bicycles in here. You can. So while we were in the middle of our base camp walkthrough, somebody walks by and says, he and she. And I thought it was an Airstream employee. Turns out it's a viewer. And all I did was say, hey. So I'm very sorry if I had known you've been a viewer, I would have come over and talked. So apologize for that. You want the flat surface to be in the outside, and your pan is gonna go all the way through. But you okay. can always use a cheater bar if you just hook up the, the hook like that, and you can just push it. Just use your feet, kind of like that, and then you're gonna have to lock it into place. This is the weirdest spot I've ever seen. So this is the service side where all the hookups are. And it's a pull through, which is nice. But in order to unhook, I'm in the street. Look at that. I've never been to a site like that. Usually, this pole here would be way back here. So the front of our trailer, the whole stay is going to be almost sticking out in the road. Apparently we're near Frog City. It's nice that there's a utility light out here, so you can do hookups at night. We didn't have that on either of our other trailers. I just noticed that our water pressure is at 50 pounds per square inch. Oh, she's running water, see it moving? But looking at the base camp manual last night, it said 40. So I'm gonna try to adjust to get to 40. I forgot to record it during the delivery walkthrough, so I'll cover it now. Even though there's two solar panels on the roof, all base camps come with an external port for solar. So you can set one out here on the ground and point it directly at the sun if you need. There's an external propane port here. So this feeds off of your tanks that I'll show you in a second in here. So you can have like an external grill or a fire pit out here that runs off the propane. So inside here is normally the power cord, the gray power cord that I'm using right now, it's wound up. And I believe, yeah, this is for the stabilizers. I guess I'll hit those real quick, in case you don't know. Those just keep the trailer from shaking. So here's the liquid propane. I've mentioned it before. Two tanks. I like to just use one at a time. This little arrow 
points to which one you want to use right now. Green means it senses pressure. So I like to use this one up completely and then switch to the other one. And we actually go several months, a few camping trips on one bottle. So while this one's empty and I'm using this one, I have plenty of time to fill the first one up again. You can point the needle down and it'll pull from both. I suppose you might have an application for that. I like to know which one I'm using.